Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. Uh, when we last left off, well, I think we're making progress. I think we have uh, discovered what we have to do. We found the train handle, we've moved a train. We also found a silver bullet and a sword of obedience. Also found this, like, whip thing, which is a new weapon for um, Eileen somehow i'm not really sure but i mean i guess anything's better than a fucking bag so you know uh we also found a candle i think and a silver bullet yes so i think now all we've got to do is go back into the hall find eileen and then get out of here however we've got ghosts chasing us which is infuriating to say the least Now, oh, did I grab new bullets? Or more bullets, I should say. Because, yeah, I did. We got 16 rounds. Uh, okay. So she's equipped with that. Right, come on, Eileen. Let's get out of here. Now, I th think... So, I have been looking up a little bit about how her possession works. And I think as long as we leave her where she is, she's okay. As long as she's not getting attacked. Only um, when she's actually taking damage does her health lower. Although I can't find anywhere to confirm that. Some people say, um, or should I say, some people are convinced that just leaving her by her, by her own uh, for extended periods of time also increases her possession. But I don't know. So... Anyway, without any waffling, let's carry on. I So, we've got to get her back through this train area. If I had a sword of obedience, actually, I could probably stab um, Cynthia. The Cynthia ghost. But we don't have one of those. Okay. So, but one of these doors was open. Is it not? Why is my game so quiet? Headsets like fully maxed out. Um, maybe if I turn the TV up a bit. That's really weird. I don't know why my. That's better. That was weird. Um, okay, that's the edge of the train cars. So, I mean, you can tell apparently by, like, how bloody and messed up and how scratched up her back is. Like, the more damaged and, and bloody and whatnot she is, the worse her condition is. But, I mean, to me, she looks fine. But I imagine we're going to have much harder battles coming up. This is really, like, disorientating. Notice how that when we move through the cars here, we're actually moving in the opposite direction on the map. That's confusing as fuck. Right, so we can't go through that one. Okay. Can't go through that one either. And can't go there. Out of the way. Now we're going to start encountering what's her name through here. Yeah. I don't know if being like close to another ghost. Um. Oh, wait, is she not coming now? Is she? Ah, oh, we've left her behind. Oh my dudes, my dudes, this is going to become. Wait, she's all the way back there? My dudes, this is going to become crazy irritating. I can already feel it in my bones. So I guess whilst we're being chased by ghosts and whatnot, we also have to walk very slowly so we don't get too far ahead of her. Man, that's frustrating. Okay, so now, 
Ah, bollocks. She's right there. I... Oh, God. You know what? We can... Spend... Okay, so she kind of goes down for a little bit. I don't know. Come on, Eileen, come on, come on, come on. No, I guess we're not going through there. Come on. Ah, oh, she's still in the other car. Come on. Um... Right. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This way, I think. Nope. Or maybe it is. Out the f- Like, you can't get- Fuck off! Oh my god, I hate these ghosts. Come on. They literally, like, for me, I'm not kidding, they ruined the game. Uh, they're so unbelievably irritating. It's unreal. Right, okay, cool. So actually, that train bit is nowhere near as hard as I was making it out to be. She's with me, good. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Come on, Eileen. Come on. Cool, she's following. Come on, come on, come on. This way, this way, this way. Don't get left behind. Should be this way, yeah, to this ticket place. Come on. There we go, nice. I don't know how... Oh, this is back to the... Hang on, this is back to the red room. Right, okay, so how do I get her back out of here? Is it up there? And then down. Um... Bugger, okay, I might have to work this out, because, yeah, fuck, I forgot, she can't go down. Okay. That's not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Alright. This way, Eileen, this way. Can, I th can we not go up here? In that case, where's the stairs? Yeah, we can go up these stairs. Okay, that'll work. That will work. That will work. Right, well we've got Oh, I think I know how where we go. I think I know. I think I know. We've gotta go back to the turnstile, haven't we? Yeah. I think what I've done there was totally needless. Cause we've gotta go back to the turnstile. And, oh no, 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 I think we're on track, I think we're on track, yeah, because we can now go through here, and then, I think, we can go straight down here, yes! There we go. Ha ha! I brained. I brained good guys. That's where we wanted to go. Now. Wait a minute. Did I? Is this right? Yeah, that's where we need to go.
I'm sure. Fuck. I've got like no health either. Which is going to be a pain in the dick. Please be the right way. So this is the stairway to nowhere. Was there any items here? No, this is just where we killed the dog. I mean, there was items here, but we've already got them. Uh, King Street Line. Well, here goes everything, I suppose. Ah, fuck. How are we going to get her past? Um, well, I mean, she's here, so there's that. So we're going down there. Yeah, this is the right way to go. Yes. Yes. I am on track. I think. Fuck off, pal. Oh, no. Don't. Okay. Desperately need more bullets. Or I suppose... No, no, no. We should be okay. We should be okay. We've got three rounds left. We've got, like, plenty more of them in our box. See what I mean? Like, sometimes it just doesn't... Sometimes it just doesn't stun them. I don't... I don't know. Like, they have invincibility frames. Oh, shit. Yep, okay, that's fine. Ouch. Guess we're just gonna have to... get a little bit creative. Maybe. Like, if we can get hit, and she not get hit? Oh, I don't like this at all. Don't like the fact she actually got hit there. But I don't know how... I don't know how... How much punishment she can take. I've read that the candles heal her, but only temporarily. They don't, like, heal her permanently. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Let's... Okay, that didn't do nothing. Just go on without me. Just go on without me. Fuck it. Just go, 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 just go. And I'm dead. Oh my... God, I hate this bit. Ah. Oh, it's so incredibly irritating, guys. Like, I cannot even explain to you how irritating those enemies are. Oh, fuck those. They're so cheap. Right, well, I guess I will catch you guys in a minute. And uh, I don't know why I made that look so hard. That was actually really simple. Uh, we have our gun and we've got a lot more ammo for it this time. So even if we end up wasting loads of bullets, who gives a fuck? Because I don't know what else we're going to use this handgun for. Right, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck off and die. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be enough bullets, mind. But I guess we're going to find out amongst ourselves. Let's keep moving forwards. Yeah, like, again, why is... So, like, why is he not aiming at it? There we go. That is a really annoying glitch. Okay, and... And here's me thinking, like, a hundred bullets is a lot, but... I guess it's really not. I mean, look how quick we go through them. Damn. I think we just got the two coming up at the end. I think that's all we have left. And then we're out of this fucking place. Now, I can actually see it's semi-easy to get out of here without actually getting her hit once in this place. She has been hit a couple of times. Um, but I think it could definitely be done. It does make me worry how hard the rest of the game is going to get, though. Come on. 
Come on. There you are. See that? Right, three bullets. No, aim at that one. That other one. No. Okay. That was fucking dodgy as hell, but I think we got through it. Went through like nearly 40 bullets there. Nah, we couldn't have done. How many? Yeah, nearly 40 bullets we went through there. So to get past that bit, we've basically used the entire stock of ammo. Or at least like almost half of the stock of ammo. Nah, we, we could have used that much. I'm getting confused, obviously. There's no way we went through 40 odd bullets nearly. Definitely getting confused. Right, let's just creep on past these bastards. And break on through. Oh, fuck off. Definitely not putting up with any of your bullshit. Piss off. Seriously. Got one round left. She just got hit there. Oh, come on. There we go. We're through. Oh. Was that like the end end? Of the level? Please? And there's Walter. Huh. Fair enough. So where are we now? Oh. Oh, we're just like there. Okay. So I guess we're s still not quite out. Oh, hello. Well... Back to this squelchy circular corridor. However, it's definitely looking a little bit more like Silent Hill esque now with all of this fog. It's actually, quite nice looking fog as well. Now, are we going to go across here? Oh, there's a hole there. Um, what's my health like? Mm. This is just horrible. I know, I know this. Maybe, uh, what's the time are we on? Four minutes. Maybe you should go back and get some bullets. Because maybe I've been a bit unfair on the gun. Because here's the thing. It doesn't seem to do too much damage to the ghosts. But it definitely like stuns them and holds them back. So that's a. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Um, let's go get a candle. And that little bastard took loads of our health off. Holy shit. I'm sure we've got a candle in here. Uh, we need bullets. Now we're going to need more health as well. That was kind of... That was... A, yeah, we've used loads of bullets. We really have used loads of bullets. Um, yeah, that was... Cheap game. I guess we better get a health pack out as well. So as soon as we spawned back here, we took damage. Uh, I guess we've got a lot of these... Let's use one of those, though. I kind of want to hoard health, but... At the same time... I, I don't know. I don't know the best way of going. Alright, let's use this. Like, how... I can't put it here. Well, where can we put it? Where do we put the candle? Like... Okay, so we've just basically been almost killed by that thing. We've wasted an entire medikit. It says you've got to put candles by the um, horrors, but it doesn't let you put a candle by it. So how do we... How do we... I'm going to make another save here because we've just wasted loads of health. <sighs> I 
Like, it canes your health as well. Not talking about a little bit of health being knocked off. We're talking about loads. <sighs> oh, shit, that hurt. I mean, we've got that, but... I don't know how much is left of this medallion. Probably not much. Let's try going back in here with this. Um... I mean, seriously, like, where would you put a candle? Come on. Okay. Okay, I guess this thing was in good nick. Where would you put a candle? Because we know if you put the candle too far away, they don't do anything. You, like, literally waste the entire candle. And I don't know how many candles there are in the game. And I don't know how many of these there are in the game. So, like, resource management's quite a thing in this game. It's very, very cheap. Kind of brutal. I don't think we need those anymore. I guess we don't need that anymore because we're not in the subway anymore. Um, that's almost fucked, but we, we've kind of got to, like, hoard these things for horrors. Or hauntings. Because we don't really have a choice. And man. Like health items are rare. Or like, should I say the good ones are. And you, you can really have your health stripped away in no time. I don't know guys. This is going to be. This is definitely suddenly got a shit sight harder. Because when we first started playing this game, this game was like easy. The fact that you could go back and heal yourself. But now, not only can you not come back and heal yourself, you have such a tiny amount of health kits. I, I'm hoping they're really going to dial up the amount we get, because fuck me. <sighs> I don't know, guys. We're going to need many, many health kits. Right. Yeah, you think you've got problems. Eileen, you think you've got problems. You don't know how many health kits I've got left. And uh, it ain't many. You know? I'm not seeing any kits here either. We can't go too far. Oh my god, is she going to be with us for the rest of the game? Is this now Resident Evil 4? But at least with, like, Ashley... <sighs> Ashley wasn't as comp complicated to look after. We didn't quite have the... Oh, we're back here. Oh. There's like... There's no breakup between the... Um... There's no breakup between the areas anymore. Ooh. Okay. Right, well, uh I can hear a bad nick. Oh we got dogs, that's fine. Ooh, and health. Yes, please. Yeah. We'll definitely take the nutrition drink. It's too dark to see. I'm guessing, like, items have respawned around all of these places. So... Hey, Sniffer. Boom. Come on, we really can't afford to take damage. Because health is such a fucking premium now. At least Eileen is... Yeah, Eileen, man. She's helping out. Oh, hello. Come on, Eileen. Come on. You can hit him right there. 
I like this axe. It's definitely slow, but it does a satisfyingly large amount of damage. Okay. Oh, hello. Is that just environmental sound effects, or is that something a little bit more interesting? Ah, more dogs. I don't mind the dogs. I'm happy to fight the dogs. Oh, how did I dodged you? Good, good, good. Get him again. Get him again. And again. And again. And again. I like the way he's actually locking on to me and not her. Holy fuck, man. We're still taking a beating here. I kind of wanted to hang on to that drink, but... Well, I'll smoke them if you got them, I guess. It's definitely lots of moaning. Okay. Here we are, back at the wish house. Oh, shit. Look at that, it's all burnt down. Did that actually say anything? I can't read this writing. I can read this writing. It looks like some kind of a diary. Ooh. Here goes. October 15th. Bob is gone. Nobody will tell me what happened. I bet... Ugh. I can't read any more than that. Well, Bob is gone. Okay. So who left all this writing here? Do we have... Oh. Ah. Hello. Well, there's a candle there. What have we got here? There's a note on the ground. Excellent. Some, something's here, but nothing's here. I feel something from the well. Something missing. Arrgh! It's begun, Jasper. Okay. Something's coming from the well. Yeah, we'll take the holy candle. Yes, please. Damn, look at this place. Totally torched. Now, I did hear a tip uh, of someone. A charred doll's body is sitting in the wheelchair. There's a message carved onto it. Though my body is uh, be destroyed, I will not... Let you pass here. Prepare for the receiver. Oh, to prepare for the receiver of wisdom. I cut my body into five pieces and hid them in dark in the darkness. When my body is once again whole, the path below will be opened. If you are the receiver of wisdom, you will understand my words. The ritual has begun. You put the wheelchair doll text into your scrapbook. Scrapbook. I'm guessing um, that refers to... The, uh, what do you call them? Um. Ah, oh, fucking hell. The wishing wells? Or the well, why did I say wishing wells? The wells. But was there five wells, though? And if it's too dark, how do we see down the wells? Um, yeah, so I heard a tip. On one of the forums that I was reading up about um, like the candles and stuff and, and how to save Eileen. Oh, there's more writing here. And one of the best places in this place to leave her is here. But <clears throat> unfortunately with Eileen, you cannot just tell her to wait here because that makes too much logical sense. Uh, and like if we could give her simple commands like wait, follow, blah, 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 blah. That unfortunately comes under good game design. And this game lacks that. So you have to like run ahead of her. Because uh, obviously she's a little bit slower than us. And you have to try and trap her behind things. And, and then you can uh, freely explore without her. But uh, I'm glad to be out of that bloody tunnel anyway. Or that train station. Because I didn't like that. Someone called some kind of weird writing. Here goes. October 18th. 
I have to stay in the round cell even if I read well tomorrow. If I do it, God will be happy. So I will do it. Mm. He comes into the round cell a lot to visit. But it's okay, I guess. Okay, so that's referencing the uh, prison that we saw. But who's writing these diaries? Sullivan, I guess? That's pretty fucked up though, isn't it? To have those prisons for kids. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Um, I'm tempted to go back and save it because we were kind of at the start of a new video here. But at the same time, I don't want to keep going back to the house because we might incur more hauntings. And if we find more hauntings, we have to use resources. And uh, I don't know where to put the candles. Like, we apparently couldn't put a candle um, in our bedroom. So we don't have any way of getting rid of that apparition. And when we just respawned, it took shit tons of our health away, which is really unfair, if you ask me. So I think I'm going to wait. Uh, we're not going to save it just yet. We're going to dump off Eileen in this place, and then we're going to pick a location and explore. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.